Hi, I am Arpita. Welcome to my channel. Today, I will give you some important information about regular cotton and organic cotton. But before we start, take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you will never miss these super informative videos. Let's get some facts straight. In a year, around 27 million tons of cotton is produced worldwide. India is the world's largest producer of cotton. It produced around 9 million tons of cotton in 2021. It is most commonly used fiber on the planet. We use it because it is light, durable and breathable. Every one of us will definitely have at least one garment that is made of cotton or partly cotton. Cotton is a fiber taken from plant so it is uh, natural and does not cause uh, pollution compared to man-made fibers. But cotton has its own problems. Cotton production uses a lot of water and a lot of chemicals. As the water consumption is more, groundwater is uh, drying up which is happening gradually over the years. Conventional production uh, practices for cotton involves the application of fertilizers and pesticides. These pesticides, fertilizers and minerals from cotton fields contaminate rivers, lakes, wetlands and underground water. Let me answer some questions now. What is organic cotton? In simple words, it is the production of cotton working with the nature but not against the nature. It is all about natural ways of managing pests and diseases rather than using uh, pesticides and chemicals. Using natural fertilizers to improve the soil quality. When we know that the chemicals are not good, why do we use them? These chemicals, fertilizers help grow the crop quickly. This may sound good as we focus on the final cotton that is produced. But this will not help in long term as it is ruining the soil quality causing different kinds of pollutions. Soil will no longer be productive. Nutrients get washed away into waterways, rivers and uh, pollute them. So we won't uh, have long term fiber supply. How does organic productions work? In this method, it is a single crop production. If a cotton crop is produced one year, the next year beans or peas crop is produced. This way, nitrogen is absorbed from air and fixed into the soil. There are different methods used to grow the cotton that will not ruin the soil. How much water is used to produce organic cotton? There are many studies that show the organic cotton production uses around 90% less water than the regular cotton. This is because the organic cotton is grown in a system that focuses on the improvement of the soil. Soil absorbs the water well and releases when it is required. The nutrients are logged in for the plants to grow well rather than the water is just running from the top layer taking nutrients and goodness of the soil away. What do you look for to know if the cotton is organic or not? God's certification. Global Organic Textile Standards is recognized as the world's leading processing standard for textile made from organic fibers. This makes sure that everything in the supply chain met strict standards at the farm and at the factory. The fabric has to be 70% organic cotton. No harmful chemicals are used in the process at all. It also takes care of the workers' standards. There is another certification called Organic uh, Content Standard. This makes sure the final fabric is 100% organic cotton but doesn't check anything in the factory. Main points for you to remember. Buying organic cotton is good for people and the planet. By buying organic cotton, you are making great contribution to the lives of uh, people around the world and also to yourself. 
look for the certifications of the brands who say they are using organic cotton. Many mainstream brands are committing to using 100% sustainably sourced cotton by 2025. That's a good news. There are independent brands that are using 100% organic cotton. You can look for them on Instagram or Google for them. It is the switch of the mindset from buying regular cotton or man-made fabric to organic cotton or nature-friendly fabrics. I have some more uh, helpful videos on my channel talking about fabric, sustainability and more. You can watch them by clicking here and I will leave the links in the description box for you. Do you look for organic cotton fabrics when you buy your clothes? Type yes or no in the comments. If you want to switch to organic cotton, you can keep the points I mentioned just now in your mind when you're going for next shopping. If your favorite brands are not using organic cotton still, ask them when they are uh, going to include them. This is a very empowering way to make the brands choose organic cotton. You can go on to Twitter or Instagram and ask the questions while tagging the brand. As I always say, you don't have to change the whole wardrobe into organic fabrics right away. You can start with buying one garment. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.